It's game day here in Trinidad as the Caribbean Premier League descends on the Twin Island Republic. And what a way to start things off. Two of the biggest teams in the history of the league go head-to-head -head at the Queen's Park Oval here in Port of Spain. First up is the females, the Ghana Amazon Warriors versus the Trinbago Knight Riders happening at 14 hours 30. And with both teams looking for their first win, it should be an intense competition on the pitch here at Queen's Park Oval. Now the Barbados Royals, that's the other team in the female competition, they're basically through to the final having won all three of their games in Barbados and it's really up now to the Warriors and the Knight Riders to go head to head to ensure that they get their first win and uh, compete for that spot in the final which happens on Sunday at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. But before we even get to that point of the female competition, tonight it's the big one. The big game between the Ghana Amazon Warriors men's team against the Trinbago Knight Riders. And it's no surprise that it's a sold out here at the Queen's Park Oval. Two of the biggest teams in the competition going head to head. It is the El Clasico of the Caribbean Premier League. Now, not much separate uh, these two teams as it relates to the overall record. The Trinbago Knight Riders, they have won 13 times. The Warriors, they have won 12 here at the Queen's Park Oval. Uh, 10 matches the Warriors have won only three now that's a record they would want to reverse and improve on as they head into the competition uh, at the back end of the competition really and they are the only unbeaten team uh, heading into this leg of CPL. Trinbago Knight Riders on the other hand they have been gaining some momentum in the back end of this competition towards the end of the Barbados leg and they would want that momentum to continue. Uh, the Ghana Amazon Warriors manager Leon Johnson is positive ahead of that clash and on the eve of this big match the head coach of the Trinbago Knight Riders, Phil Simmons, as well as the chief executive officer of the CPL, Pete Russell, spoke about this big match and what we can expect on this leg here in Trinidad. They've been playing some excellent cricket, so it's going to be a tough game for us, but we, we seem to be getting our, our footing right now, so we'll um, make sure that we give them a proper game tomorrow. TKR camp is fine. TKR camp is always been buzzing in under all the rain and St. Lucia. It was still buzzing, but things are good. We're, we're enjoying what we're doing and I think that's the, that's the important part for us. Winning comes from enjoyment, so we enjoy what we're doing. No, I, I think, as Phil said, I think the frustrations of St. Lucia were, were a bit unlucky with the weather. Uh, we had great weather, obviously, when we were facing kits in Barbados. So the tournament's really got uh, underway. I think the atmosphere in Barbados uh, was great and um, we know it's going to be amazing here. I mean, obviously, nothing beats a Trinidad Guyana game as the first one in Trinidad, so I think tomorrow night's going to be an absolute cracker. Um, both teams obviously playing well, so looking forward to that, but no, everything's going according to plan and uh, we're very excited about the Trinidad League.